Ontario's provincial police officers, municipal councillors and staff who work closely with privacy laws listened intently to the updates provided by Ontario's Information and Privacy Commissioner, Brian Beamish. Every year, the commissioner and his staff visit communities across Ontario to provide up-to-date information on privacy issues facing the province's public and health sector. And while the number of freedom of information requests continues to rise, the biggest issue this year, according to Beamish, is in the health sector. The issue we've been dealing uh, in health privacy with uh, is what's called unauthorized access or snooping. And that is the case of health staff going in without authority or without a need to know into electronic health records of patients they're not providing services to. So we've talked about how to uh, combat that and some of the steps that have been taken to prevent it. Beamish recommends that in order to prevent such problems, organizations and hospitals need to continually enforce the importance of privacy. Another topic discussed at Wednesday's privacy conference is the development of a new municipal act, Bill 68, a bill that not only clearly defines what a municipal meeting is, but also allows officials to hold more meetings in camera. It's a legislation which Bemis is lobbying against. Circumstances where councils can go into closed meetings are increased. There will be councils that take advantage of that. And, uh, my concern on that is twofold. One is I think that business of government should be conducted in the open as much as possible. The second is uh, the, the fear that information discussed at a closed meeting will not be made available when people put in a freedom of information request. However, some municipal councillors disagree. How do you move forward on, say, a funding agreement or a partnership when you cannot discuss it until after it's announced and you can't make the agreements, you can't finalize the details. In most cases, in just about every case that I can think of, every case that we've ever dealt with where we have this difficulty, it's stuff that is going to be public. It's just that we need the ability to go in camera initially. And while this is the first time the commissioner has visited Thunder Bay in 15 years, Beamish says it's a great way to increase their presence in the community. Christina Jung, TBT News.